So this is the website that we're going to be designing throughout this video series. I've tried to collect the most common web components that you come across and put them together in this one pager so that you can see how they are built in Figma. These are just like animated GIFs going around here. Pretty cool. Figma supports animated GIFs. Pretty cool. Yeah. Testimonial component. Little CTA at the bottom of the page. So Figma's basic building blocks are frames. You can build pretty much anything in Figma using frame. So if we take a look at any of these components, let's grab this header navigation, for example. Itself, it's made of a, it, it itself is made of a frame. It has these other frames inside of it as children. So we got the brand logo, button, header links wrapper, it's a frame. And inside the header links, it has text links or text blocks, sorry. The header links wrapper, if you look at the right hand panel here, has auto layout applied to it. There's a 24 right there. And all that's saying is that any item inside this header links frame is going to have 24 padding between them. So if I needed to add another link, all I'd have to do is hit command D, which is the duplicate shortcut and change my text. And there you go, we have another link in this navigation. Now the other way to do this would be to do it manually, and that's to click the item, hold option down and drag it to the desired padding, 24, boom, change it, and there, then you'd have a, another link in your header as well. Problem with this is very time consuming. If you're working with a lot of components and you need to update things quickly as things change throughout the process, it'll be a lot of time to update these components. So it's pretty important to spend a little bit more time structuring your components so that you can easily respond to changes. So yeah, we got frames. We got frames that have auto layout applied to them. So what are frames? How do you use them? How to use auto layout? We'll talk about that a little bit more in the next video.